So we're set to go with the winner moving on to the semifinals. Cap, early on, St. Louis with Travis Ford, what do you think they're going to want to establish? They want to get everyone a touch, and they want to go inside. The key for them is going inside out. Re there you go. They fed the post, refeed the post, and get themselves open looks for three. They will. They want to attack the rim. Gary Collins with the ball, kicking it back out. Jimmy Bell, number 32, excellent defender. He'll draw Trey Mitchell, and again, up and under, and wow, Goodwin. Back to Goodwin. Oh, when it's working, it's working, Cap. The and one off the bump after a Jimmy Bell screen. Weeks, another player that got hot yesterday, ended up with 14 points for St. Joe's, but a big spark off the bench. Nice hang there by Javon Garcia. Wow, easy drive, way too easy. Fred Thatch Jr., his first bucket. That's a huge surprise. Hassan French, no points so far. Underneath, look at that, the score maker is Yuri Collins, the guy that's averaging less than five points a game, and Yuri Collins is having himself a game now in double figures because so it's 30 16, six and a half minutes to play here in the first half. And uh, that's called no defense as Javante Perkins took it right down the lane. Two, three modified zone, it looks like, but then they switch back into a, a shell of defense, and it just doesn't seem to be working as they're just not able to locate players. And when wow. you get shots like that off of your shoulder for Fred Thatch, it's, it's your day. Just give me a second. Wow. Somehow. Kyra McCroy was able to keep his balance and stay in, and he puts it in. So that was going to be a high degree of difficulty. So now an opportunity to get it down to single digits. Mitchell wanted the ball, calls for the ball, gets the ball. Double. He kicks out. Fernandez open for a look. And back come the Billikens really quickly. Trey Mitchell thought about stepping into Javante Perkins, but wisely let him go as he had the angle. And Cap, I gotta think UMass at some point has got to start hitting those outside threes like they did yesterday because that they're just too good of a shooting team to go this cold. They've got to make shots, but I thought his athletic ability, big man at 6'7, 240, but his first bucket of the game. Trey Mitchell coming right back at Jimmy Bell. And, and Jimmy Bell, to his credit, number 32 for St. Louis, is doing a good job defensively. But Trey Mitchell, as Travis Ford pointed out, he's a tough guard. He did. Mitchell gets it to rattle home. I, I mean, I'm just telling you, I am more and more impressed with this kid. Trey Mitchell now with 17 points. That's just too easy. Wide open threes. Corey thought about it, and there we go. Carl Pierre, the captain, steps up and buries one. That was a huge three. Dumps it down to French. French back to Collins. Not known for three-point shooting, but he is now. Wow. Yuri Collins steps up, hits his first bucket of the second half to give him 13 points, and more importantly, pushes it back to an 11-point lead. They need a stop here, the Minutemen. Hangs on the rim, gets right back in, tipped in. Wow. Points. That's some body control there. Javante Perkins, leading scorer, gets two more. Collins will end up with 17 points. A young man that averages 4.8 ends with 17 on the night and five assists. And it does go final. It's a 14-point win as the four seed takes down the five seed. Two great coaches there, Travis Ford and Matt McCall at UMass.